so in this video we will see one dimensional random variable and this variable is discrete very important it is not continuous so the formulas are different and it is a very interesting question i guarantee you if you watch this video till the end you will gain more knowledge and that is my 100% guarantee so let's look at this question if random variable x takes the value between 1 2 3 and 4 it can take every value such that its uh, probability are in this equation 2p of x is equal to 1 is equal to 3p of x is equal to 2 and so on equal p of x is equal to 3 5 times p of x is equal to 4 find the pdf and cdf now this is important you have to find the probability density function or you can say the probability mass function anything is valid and you can you have to find the cdf that is cumulative density function or you can say it is only the density function that would be okay so basically you have to find two things so let's start first point is this equation this is interesting this variation is something unique because up till now you have uh, the equation where if you put x value you will get the answer of the probability but here they have the equation so how to solve this kind of question that is important that's why i took this example it's very important and interesting to know the solution like you have two times of probability of x is equal to 1 is equal to 3 times of this and then you have for 3 and then you have for 5 now as you can see the coefficients are 2 3 1 and 5 so what is the LCM of 2 3 1 and 5 correct the answer is 5 into 2 into 3 into 1 and the answer comes out to be 30 so what I am doing I am equating this term is equal to 30 K so that if I separate the terms out like P of capital X is equal to 1 then it is equal to 30 K by 2 that is equal to 15 K and if I do it for X is equal to 2 I will get one more value that is 10 K and P of X is equal to 3 I will get uh, 30 K and P of X is equal to 4 I will get 6 K now doing this is important why because you know that the summation of all the probability is 1 and then you can say that your every probability so x is equal to 1 plus x is equal to 2 plus x is equal to 3 and x is equal to 4 if I odd uh, if I add all of this probability the answer is 1 so 15 K plus you have 10 K then you are doing 30 K plus 6 K is equal to 1 so you will get the value of K and it is 1 by 61 now put this value in this equation so now you know what is the probability of x is equal to 1 the answer is 15 by 61 similarly it is 10 by 61 30 by 61 and 6 by 61 for p of x is equal to 4 now once you get that this means you are finding the pdf pdf basically means you have two terms one is the probability of your variable and second is your variable so variable can be 1 2 3 4 and respective probabilities are 15 by 61 10 by 61 30 by 61 and finally 6 by 61 okay so this is the first part a very interesting part even if you don't have the probability you can get it because your basic idea was summation of all the probability is 1 but then I should know the values but as you can see equation was present always equate the equation to some LCM of k okay always do that then only you can solve this kind of question a very important point please make a note of this okay and once you do that you will get the answer a pretty amazing question now it's time to find CDF which is more interesting so let's see the answer so now the second point is we have to find the CDF CDF means capital of X is equal to X whereas PDF means the probability density function which you already saw now CDF is interesting because its range can be from 0 to 1 that's it it cannot exceed from 1 or it cannot decrease than 0 that is the very important concept very important basic and if you don't know such basics please do watch my previous videos where I have explained all the basics of PDF and CDF for continuous time for discrete time how you can use in the various questions and that's it okay so let's find the CDF so this this was the second point finding the CDF so basically we have four variables uh, four terms one variable four terms x is equal to 1 2 3 4 so first we will find for x is equal to 1 
and uh, that is simple it is equal to pdf of x is equal to 1 and the answer was uh, what answer was 15 by 61 correct so if you have noted it down then the answer is 15 by 61 and if i talk about f of x less than 1 it would be 0 nothing is there because your small x is ranging from 1 to 4 so 1 2 3 4 it would work for this four terms only otherwise it is 0 okay and if you move forward then you can say for x is equal to 2 it would it would took it would take it would take the previous probability so x is equal to 1 plus p of x is equal to 2 and the answer of this probabilities are from the previous slide that is 25 by 61 now you are moving forward for finding for x is equal to 3 you have to add all of the probabilities of previous so that that's what cumulative density function means adding all the probabilities of previous and that's it so you will get the answer as 55 by 61 and for finally you can say that now my answer is heading towards 1 so adding from 1 to 4 the answer would be 1 okay and you can see that lowest is 0 highest is 1 so your answer is correct so if you are plotting a graph x axis has what x axis has the term x correct and it is changing from 0 1 2 3 and 4 correct for 0 it is not present so 0 is only there but for 1 it is something some values are present so at 1 the value is what the value is 15 by 61 and um, if you are talking about 2 the value is, is 25 by 61 greater than that 25 by 61 if you are talking about 3 it is 55 by 61 and if you are talking about 4 it is 1 so either you can plot a discrete graph or you can draw like this as well a step graph okay so answer is this of the cdf so i hope you got the answer so friends agar aapko meri video pasand aa rahi ho then do like this video share with your friends and subscribe to my youtube channel to milte hain agli video mein till then take care this is shrinik jain peace out